20th century, many buildings became totally dependent on fossil fuel energy to make them habitable. Given that resources today are limited, expensive, and polluted, fossil fuels can no longer be the only power source to sustain our needs. As a result, it is important that we find a means to increase the building's efficiency. It is with these facts that we've tried to find a solution to lower the amount of energy consumed, thus by finding a new way to heat buildings. As you know, the most abundant free source of energy is provided by the sun. Our design is a unique device that takes advantage of solar radiation. As a result, we've created a system that maximizes its use and transfers heat from the exterior of a wall to its interior in one direction. As you can see here, our device uses a sealed copper pipe that contains a small amount of water. Here on this chart, you can see that copper's thermal conductivity lies between silver and gold. We have chosen to make our device out of copper because it offers a good compromise between its high thermal conductivity and its low price. Using the basic properties of water, our idea was to transfer heat or energy by creating a vapor flow in the pipe. In order to allow the system to work in a cold climate, we needed to boil water at a low temperature. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius under normal atmospheric conditions. In other words, if you wanted to boil a pot of water on the stove, the temperature of the water must reach 100 degrees before you will see it boil. However, as you can see on the water phase diagram, based on the clausius quaternion equation, we can decrease the boiling point temperature by decreasing the pressure. As a result, we've decided to design our device with a low pressure of 0.1 atmosphere inside the copper pipe, thus allowing water to boil at 40 degrees. By combining the copper tubing and pressurized water, we've created what is called a thermal siphon. The thermal siphon is composed of three sections, the evaporator, the adiabatic section, and the condenser. The evaporator is outside and in direct contact with solar radiation. The adiabatic section is inside the wall and surrounded by foam, and the condenser is inside the building envelope. 50 to 80% of the evaporator's volume is filled with deionized water. In practice, our device uses the heat from the sun to warm the water that is in the evaporator. Now recall that in a vacuum sealed space, water boils at 40 degrees. On the left side of the wall, the warmth of the sun would heat the water in the tube to its boiling point of 40 degrees. The heat and the water vapor would rise through the adiabatic section and then to the upper part of the copper pipe. At that point, the water vapor mixture will transfer heat to the interior of the building by means of convection from the copper pipe. Once the vapor has transferred all of its thermal energy, it will condense. Thus, by means of gravity, the water droplet will return to its original water pool and restart the cycle. By combining copper conductivity and vapor heat transfer, the thermal siphon has a much higher thermal conductivity than a simple metal pipe. Moreover, the system is designed such that the heat transfer is in one direction. It should be noted that our device is quite flexible in terms of its application. As you know, heat transfer goes always from the hot to cold. So far, our animations show that our system can be used in a cold climate to transfer heat from outside to inside. However, under different conditions, our device can also be used in a warm climate by using the reverse process to transfer heat from inside to outside during the night. Now, how can this benefit you? Our main source of energy is solar power which is free and readily available to everyone everywhere. With the rising price of fuel and the environmental concerns of using fossil fuels, our device not only offers an alternate power source that is less costly, but is also efficient and pollution free. Our lab technicians will now compare our device to a standard copper pipe. To start the experiment, they heated a water bath to 45 degrees. In the video on the right hand side, they placed an ordinary copper pipe into the water bath. And on the left hand side, they placed our thermosiphon into the water bath. To measure the heat conductivity of both devices, we connected a thermometer to the upper extremity of the pipe and thermosiphon. Now let's watch the temperature readings to see which device will heat up faster.
As expected, a thermosiphon is a better heat transfer device and therefore warms up much quicker than a simple copper pipe.